Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Have you ever asked yourself why do papers that I buy for photo printing don't conform to the camera sensors ratio, like a three to two ratio sensor, which is what most DSLRs come with. Remember the 35 millimeter? That was a perfect three to two or two to three, whichever, whichever way you want to look at it. And that would fit on certain paper sizes. But even back then, the photo papers that were being sold to you did not conform to that. In fact, they were so odd. 4x5, 5x7, 8x10, 11x14, 16x20, and larger. So what actually was the motivation for these companies to start making papers in, in more of a 4 to 3 ratio? We remember the old movie industry, 4 to 3 screens. Widescreen was not available then, so 4 to 3 was the norm, and so was a 4x5 cut film camera, an 8x10 cut film camera. So that was the ratio. So that's why we uh, have the 8x10 as the basically the industry standard, 8x10 glossy. That's what everybody wanted. But now we're in the digital world. And when point and shoot cameras, pocket cameras, smaller non-professional type uh, digital cameras, they had a 4 to 3 ratio. And so that is a reason they chose that ratio because paper were not available in some more panoramic uh, type dimensions. So what do you do when you have a professional or semi-professional DSLR with a three to two ratio? That would be a four by six print, okay? That would be a, maybe a, I don't know, a 10 by 15 print. Who the heck does a 10 by 15 print? right? Hardly no one. How about 12 by 18? Perfect. That would fit perfectly. 12 by 18. That way you, if you are a purist, when you shoot and you are filling your complete frame with everything you want, you will not do any post cropping. You will not do anything to change that ratio, which I disagree with, by the way. But anyway, you will have that luxury to be able to quickly print your unaltered image as captured by that 3 to 2 ratio onto a borderless 12 by 18. Not necessarily borderless, but you know, it will fit this type of paper. So what happens? You have the European standard, you have the American so-called US standard. And the US standard is based on bond paper. So eight and a half by 11 and twice of that is 11 by 17 and twice of that is 17 by 22. None of which fits any, any of our you know, standard ratios. How about European? It's based on the meter type system. So you have A5, A4, A3, A2, you have A3+, plus, and all sorts of odd sizes. So that creates a huge level of not complexity, but more like confusion among people. And so, you know what? I do not worry about it, okay? I really don't worry about it as I tend to crop just an infinitesimal little bit off the edge. I just saw a beautiful landscape at our local military hospital that I attend. And I pulled my wife over to see it and I said, look at this beautiful picture, right? Couldn't they have just cut off an eighth of an inch of those little branches that are kind of peeking on the left edge? Why would you not do that? Just zoom in a tiny bit. No one will know. You will not have to alter the aspect ratio whatsoever. If you just zoom in 3% and cut off that distracting edge foliage on the, I think it was the left edge of the photograph. And I said, that would just make me look at the center of interest, which was gorgeous to begin with. But no, being the distractive type, uh, ADD type person that I am, I immediately moved over to that distracting little bunch of leaves on the left edge of the photograph. And that is a negative. You know, you don't have to stick to that ratio. If you want to maintain that ratio, then just zoom in a little bit when you are actually processing your image. Why? Most cameras will actually provide or record more than your viewfinder sees as much as 5%. 
Okay, so when you get it, that perfect composition that you thought you had now includes a little bit of extraneous detail around those edges. Everything you thought you cut off will be included in that image when you look at it in the computer. So just set your cropping tool to a perfect two to three and crop it off. You still maintain that ratio. It will still fit perfectly on a three to two type ratio paper, which you'll have to custom make if that is the, what you want to do. I'm sorry, that's the paper manufacturers could care less about the camera sensors. Very few of them will actually provide you a nice large sheet of paper like a 17 by what? 25. That is perfect. You could put a one inch border, 16 by 24. That is just a perfect way to print your three to two ratio. But hardly anyone has those size papers, all except a few companies. Hannah Mule just had that and they decided to do away with it. Why? Guess what? Lack of interest. They were only selling about 100 packs of it countrywide in a whole year. They cannot survive with that pittance of a sales figure. You would need to provide them with at least a thousand purchases of 17 by 25 dimension paper for them to tell the mill to cut custom sheets at that size. And that's all there is to it. So if you want to, you know, influence these companies, Red River has it, by the way, in several paper types. But if you want to influence these companies, you just have to demand it from them. There has to be enough demand because they are not going to provide you with 17 by 25, which they consider to be a custom size. They're just not going to, unless they have at least a thousand sales, a thousand boxes a year in a specific region. And that's the only way they're going to succumb to your demands. If you don't demand, if you just complain, nothing's going to be done. So if you want that particular paper, either cut it off of rolls, okay? You're going to need a nice trimmer for that. Cut it off of rolls or demand from these companies, Cans and Moab, Animal. Like I said, Red River already has it. Harman had it or I think still has it. And of course, Epson and Canon. They need to hear from you. They need to hear the demand and they need to see that indeed there's going to be sufficient money coming in through that demand for them to make it feasible for them to produce those odd sizes. In their eyes, those sizes are odd, even though they make perfect sense to us digital camera users, not to them. Okay, so that is the end of that. That's the way it is. All right, thank you. This weekend I'm flying. I'll be gone for one week. So please continue to view my channel, continue to see my videos. By the way, the last video that I just uploaded, it got the yellow dollar sign again. So after about 300 views, it got the yellow sign. I put in a uh, request for a manual check and by tomorrow, I'm sure it'll be back to green again. I just don't get it. It has to do with most uh, advertisers basically don't care about this subject, okay? So they will put that, you know, they'll tell YouTube, Hey, listen, we don't want to place ads in this category video. Well, what can I say? So if it gets to the point where it just gets, you know, we cannot make any revenue, I'll have to resort to other revenue sources. Like I said, I have Amazon, I have Patreon, I have PayPal, and whatever, you know, we can come up with. I also saw uh, that other companies had affiliate programs. I may go ahead and set up something like that. These are big companies like Walmart. They sell everything, just like Amazon. So I'll be able to maybe set up a page with Walmart and you guys can buy whatever it is that you need. You tell me what you need and I will put it on there and that will help the channel. That will definitely help the channel out when, you know, ads on videos are really not helping that much lately. All right. So thank you so much. Again, I will be back in one week on the third. I will be doing one more video after this one, but that'll be it for the week. And so on the third, which is Friday evening, I will be landing. And then Saturday evening, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I did this so that my friends in Australia, it'll be their Sunday. And maybe they can view the live cast, the second one. Again, it'll be mostly questions and answers. I'll tell you about how my vacation went. That'll be my opener. And then we'll get directly to questions. And I'll try to answer them for you. All right, that is it. Thank you so much. Keep subscribing, sharing, and liking. And until the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye.